Up next, let's hear from Alchemy Food Tech. Hi, I'm Alan. Thank you for this opportunity to share our mission. We strive to help the world fight diabetes by making bad cups good. This mission started because both my grandmothers passed away with diabetes complications and five out of six of my mom's siblings are diabetic. Today, one in 11 adults globally have diabetes and the rate is 13% in the United States. 90% of them are getting it from food, especially high consumption of refined carbohydrates. It spikes our blood sugar levels, but it tastes so good, people don't want to give it up. Consumers in developed cities know they should be eating less white rice, more brown rice, less white bread, and more whole grain bread, but 90% are not doing it because of taste. So we developed the Alchemy Fiber, a patented ingredient blend made from plant crops that slows down the digestion of carbohydrates without changing taste, color, and texture. It exists in powder and grain form, and by adding 10% of Alchemy Fiber into white rice, we are able to dramatically reduce the glycemic index of white rice to be the same as brown rice. This slows down the release of glucose and calories into the bloodstream and was proven in three rounds of human clinical studies in University of Sydney and National University Hospital in Singapore. With Alchemy Fiber, you can now have cups that taste like white but it's as good as brown, everything that people want. And it works for all things carb. Other than health benefits like blood sugar, calorie control and avoidance of food coma, Alchemy Fiber also helps with texture, flavor and shelf life enhancement. Which is why we have many B2B partners in FMB and FMCG where we act as the Intel Insect Technology Enablers. In addition, we also do sell B2C products. Currently, leading FMB chain stores are serving meal with Alchemy Meals as default with repeat orders for 4 months now. FMCG brands will be launching meal with Alchemy products from January 2021 in supermarkets. Brands we work with include regional and international brands like Gardenia and Nestle. To build awareness and communicate benefits, Alchemy Fiber is prominently displayed in restaurants and bakeries. We are funded by the Singapore government and VCs from Singapore and Shanghai. We also just closed a round led by Thai Union, the world's largest canned tuna processor and other international strategics. We were fortunate to pick up 10 awards in 18 months, including Act Fundal Innovation Award in San Francisco, continue to receive public backing from the Singapore government and have spoken at several high-profile events, including in Buckingham Palace, home of Queen Elizabeth II. Major TV, newspaper and radio stations have also featured our work and we have also just been mentioned in the Singapore Parliament. On social media, influencers are talking about Alchemy Fiber and how it brings about both taste and health together. Alchemy Fiber was founded by Verlin and myself, we're second time entre food tech entrepreneurs having existed our first. The rest of the team is made up of PMETs including PhDs from Oxford and NUS. We hope to have more partnership and strategic investments and look forward to engaging with you. Thank you. Thank you, Alchemy Food Tech. Darren, Alan, you've got three minutes on the Q&A clock. Thanks, Alan, great presentation. Uh, you know, I must admit, I did receive a packet of your product and, and uh, I do not, uh, unfortunately, I do not have a rice cooker uh, to, to cook white rice uh, to use your product. What other products, I guess, in, in your portfolio do you plan on uh, launching? So uh, we have also okay? worked on a big bread is cakes, uh, both in, yeah, hello, hi. Yeah, complete goods, uh, including bread, including cakes, um, both fresh as well as uh, uh, packaged nature. Um, and even if you don't have a rice cooker, uh, you can add this to the water, dissolve it, and use it to heat up your instant rice, your uncle Ben's. It works, it works either way. So long as the fiber finds a way into the starch, it will work. W wonderful. Th thank you for that. Uh, and, and I look forward to trying your product now that I know how to how to cook it. Uh, you, you know, again, uh, on the business model, you do mention, uh, you know, working with partners here. So is it B2B and B2C is, is kind of a, a blended model here? And, and I guess uh, the second part of that question is really, you know, what strategic partner are, are you looking for? What's the ideal partner for you at this stage? Yeah, so we are both B2B and B2C uh, because it's self-enforcing, but we are majority B2B. Uh, and we, so we work as uh, Intel Insight um, to a component brand uh, supplier to many of the food brands. Small to medium-sized brands, they do rely on us. And the bigger scale brands like uh, Nestle and the other uh, bigger uh, fancy companies are talking about new products. Um, in terms of strategic partners, we're really looking for partners that can help us access the US and the China market. Um, especially with distribution channels in the both FMB as well as FMCG, because uh, these products do need some kind of technical selling as well as technical support. 
for the rice application, it's really straightforward, adding the rice cooker into the water that you use to heat up instant rice. Uh, but for bakery, uh, there tends to be a little bit of trials between one to two months for the smaller uh, bakeries and maybe up to a, even up to a year if you're talking about a sliced bread maker, like, like Gardenia, for example. So it would uh, be very helpful for us if we can find strategic uh, uh, partners that can help us uh, with market access, especially uh, with technical selling uh, assistance. Wonderful, and thank you. And one last question, if I may. You know, I look at the ingredient list. It's a fairly kind of straightforward, uh, simple list of ingredients. What kind of IP do you have or have you generated around either manufacturing or, or creating the formulation of your product? So we have plenty of IPs generated. Our the formulation uh, of alfalfa fiber is a patent that is really granted in Singapore and pending in ten other countries. So it's very wide ranges of ingredients and also wide uh, ranges of uh, composite percentage of each ingredient that we use. But the actual type, the actual source, uh, which are very important information, are not reviewed. Uh, and we also do have a lot of um, know-how in terms of application. So rice bread noodles buns. Uh, but within each category, you know, if you look at ramen versus instant noodle versus pasta, for example, they all have very different processes and different versions of alchemy fiber that's required. So many layers of different um, IPs that we've been shaping up um, and, and building over the years of all our work with our uh, B2B uh, partners.